Hello, Single Malt Review here on the 18th of December with our fantastic Secret Spirits Advent Calendar. Today, Tim is going to don the hat mm -hmm. and try to guess our mystery dram. A good feeling, we're going to extend the streak. Mm. Better put this on. Slightly cooler day today, which is a blessing. Ooh. Righty ho. So Dave's going to wrestle that one out. And we're going to get straight into day 17. 18. 18. 18. There we go, already losing traction here. It bodes extremely well. So is it going to give this one up without a fight? It's coming. Oh, heck. All right. Just uh, quickly restore day 24. Under here, we've taken some more damage. Oh. Still on its oh. way. Oh. Yes. Okay, boy. I'll, um, I hope I'm remembering to um, maybe mm. do a few jump cuts with us struggling with the box. <laughs> That's <laughs> probably only funny the first couple of times. Mm. So, oh, all right, lay it on me. Indeed. Well, well. I don't know what I can infer from that. Well, well, I think it means... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it must mean something. Yeah. I think it means this is some comes from the the unguessable void that exists between the um, Speyside and the Highlands, but we shall we shall <laughs> see, we shall see. Alright, that is obscured. Here is your glass. Mm. And I am starting the clock. Perfect. You sample, I'm gonna quickly consult the book and compare to some of our previous ah. Oof. notes. Oh do I think I just got the pom pom and the drink there. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Ah ooh, hang on. That's sort of a, a cool aroma. That's almost a bit minty. I suppose that's a bit apt for Christmas, but yeah, there's a distinct sort of menthol quality there. It's bringing me in mind of a sherry matured whiskey, but... Well, it's not the easy one I'd hoped for, that's for sure. I think... Mm, that is a... yeah, that's a cool... It's, a, it's a extremely... Um, it's an extremely uh, subtle nose almost. It's no... There's no sort of fire going on here, so either I this have, is a... I have never smelled spearmint on a whiskey before. That is completely new to me, mm. and I'd like it. And it's either a lower percentage than we've been getting, or it's hiding hiding its, um, hiding its alcohol rather oh, well. Oh, that's one minute. It's probably time to have a uh -huh, taste. Ah, right. Hmm. Mm. Oh, there goes some alcohol heat. Yes, okay, a bit stronger than I was thinking. <sighs> Very, very okay. concentrated. This is that's, a that's random. I've got a very strong salty umami hit there, like mm. marmite, the New Zealand version of marmite at least. Did you get anything like that? Mm. Maybe not quite. Oh no, I mean, mm. you know, it's, it's not trying to throw you off. Yes, no, 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 no. It's, it's actually a, just a little bit, um, just slightly cheesy. Yeah. Not in a bad way, in that sort of yeah, mm. savoury kind of umami, as you say. In do you want a little water? Because this is yes. Give me, give me a little bit of water. I'm still a bit confused. Yeah. I think this is probably forty six now that mm. I've. Um, tried it, not the not the 43 or 40 that I was initially thinking because that nose was so gentle, but I still don't think it's cask strength, which right. tells me naught, but still interesting detail if I've got it right or not. I usually have a pretty reliable yep. nose for uh, strength, not necessarily any other form of accuracy, but strength of the beverage I can normally normally pick, so it's, um, actually see, that's, that's brought a little bit of... I'm getting licorice now. I am so sure that this is a sherry yeah, barrel this is, of some kind. This has gone very spicy. Mmm. Licorice root, ginger. Wow. It's this going is places. even a little bit. It's not Abalua, but it's a little bit like Abalua in its sherry sort of expression. I'm wondering if this is actually... Hmm. All right. Well, we'll do this properly. We'll do this by the book. I, yeah. This is malt whiskey. I'm certain it's malt whiskey. All right. I believe it is a. I think it's a Speyside malt whiskey because I think it is from Ben I think it is a. Uh -huh. A more interesting sherry matured. I should say more interesting than not Ben hmm. whiskey, and I will make that my. Wow. Oh, my well, final five seconds to spare I, before I suffocate. You are that. very close. Distillery's well, off, but otherwise oh. you're on the right track. What we have here. It is a Macduff. It is 14 years old. It's from a sherry butt. So it is, what, Speyside? But it is 55.9. moly. 55.9% ABV, but does not give it away. I was... 
I was prepared to call that a 40% yeah. ABV whiskey from the nose alone. That is a remarkably mm. quiet dram. So this is an, apparently, it looks like an independent bottling from Claxton's. Claxton's. Do you know well, no, I don't know, know. Claxton's. Not someone we get down in these parts, but yeah. boy, they have found an interesting wee mm. cask from Macduff. Yeah. I know... So you're correct Frankly, on bugger all about Macduff. Region on cask type. Uh, so that was that was a good close yeah, guess. Macduff. I'm yeah. not sure Macduff even has a. Uh, it may manifest as one of the Singleton bottlings. Maybe, right. maybe. Don't quote me. But um, other than that, I think it only shows up in independent bottles. But it does that more often than not. It's one of the quite mm. common ones. I think it's more or less a blender for the most part. This I'm going to say, not that I. have any idea what Macduff's um, typical character is. This is quite unusual. It Macduff. is a complex and layered Because this, I think, program. this yeah. would be quite an unusual whiskey wherever you were getting it. Even if this was coming from Glen Farkless or Glen Dronach, you know, real sherry yeah. titans, this would still be quite a quite a weird sherry cask. That mint, it's almost like after dinner mints going on, because yes. there's dark chocolate coming through as well, and a remarkable amount of spice. I think of all of them, this is the most kind of Christmas time whiskey that we've tried, because yeah. there's cinnamon in here as well. It's really, really interesting. I think, I think adding water is slightly detracted from that. It's taken away a it's little bit of It's taken some of the spice and yeah. some of the sort of oiliness, which but I didn't mention it's initially. It's such an outlier being so readily approachable at that full, quite blistering, nearly 56%. Yeah. Strength. That really is an interesting thing. Whether that's indicative of mm. all Macduff, whether it is such a gentle um, yeah. gram, just depending on the strength, um, I'm not sure. But then again, the whiskies were tried from yeah. the distilleries we know and love well already. They've really thrown us off and sent us on some flavour. Well, that, that Ockintoshin so. as well. I mean, that, yeah. was, that was criminally deviant for Ockintoshin. <laughs> this, I, I suspect, not quite so. Um, from Macduff, not that I not that I know what their profile should be, but yeah, if anyone is more familiar with Macduff than we obviously are not, then um, let us know what you how you profile it because yeah. it's not it's kind of kind of a blind spot um, for me, which is uh, poor because it is one of the ones that shows up in independent bottles quite a lot, so it's probably one worth getting to worth getting to know. Mm, curious. Oh well, the dream is dead. The streak does not continue, but I'm I'm happy <laughs> with the. Um, Happy with the two points that I got, yeah. even though I was just god awfully wrong about the alcohol strength. I talked it up too. I talked up how good I was at picking the um, <laughs> strength. So that um, that uh, shows what you get for that sort of carry on. Um, I will uh, have again, to sort of the day we get a predictable, totally transparent whiskey out of this calendar will be a day I'm yes. slightly disappointed. Well, we'll see. That we'll day see. Is yet to come. Um, yeah, it remains really strong mm. stuff. Thank you yeah. again to Secret Spirits for. Um, sponsoring us the calendar this mm. year um, I hope they are like that's 18 days in and still mm. constant surprises still full of surprises I know they're having a difficult year up there in North America with all the changes in tariffs and whatnot. but I, I can only hope that they, they they have sort of gotten put their feet up by now so mm. um, hope things hope things are all well Jonathan in the home stretch yeah. toward Christmas alrighty well we'll pack up here and come back tomorrow um, I'll just have to sort of rally rest my buds while Dave's in the hat tomorrow and um, come back swinging for the next one. Slanger, we'll be right back.